Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Books have been written. You pick up any journal lab book. Half of the book will keep talking about it, but if you read it, you, it makes no sense to you. And this is like my philosophy is always very simple. Any topic which is very difficult, more difficult is simplify it more. It is something like that. Why? Because if I am learning something, which I am very difficult, I will study it with someone else. The logic is very simple. Okay, that's why, like you saw, Jepson, you talk to, I mean, those people have a member, family member, pilot or something, you talk to them, generally, performance, and they will generally, you can see their reactions. Okay, and actually speaking, all those V speeds, takeoff segments, they are more of common sense kind of thing, just putting in the right words and in the right sequence. Similarly, this is the topic, if you start reading from the book, trust me, you will never understand. Generally, people read something, question, answer, okay, and you just pass the exam. Okay. Let's see, what is this maps and charts? Some of you, you have done the part of it, correct, up to cylindrical projection. So that's okay, it is a kind of a revision for you, and then we will continue till all kind of projections, so your syllabus will be over. Okay, now let's start. So we use various navigation charts, maps, earth is round, correct, and the maps which we create, they are like this, Jepson and root charts. You fly VFR charts, you come across those VFR charts. Okay, visual flight rules chart. This is IFR charts. They are in the plane sheet, correct? Earth is scale, Ajkal? Okay, Earth is round. Remember, you want to create, we have already done scale, correct? The scale is ratio of map distance to earth distance. So you have Earth around and you want to create it on the flat sheet. You can't. को पायलट साहब ने अपने अपना ग्लोब निकालना जरा एक लाइन लोग आऊँ यू कैंट सो यू गेट इट ऑन टू द फ्लैट शीट ना हाउ वी मेक इट एनी गेस एनी आइडिया अर्थ इज़ राउंड राइट एंड यू वांट टू क्रिएट इट ऑन द फ्लैट शीट एनी गेस एनी मेथड बाय विच हाँ जी डेमो जी ये रहने देना जरूर हाँ जी ओके मेरे को एक मैप बनाना है अर्थ है राउंड मैंने ग्लोब दे दिया भैया जी इसका हमको मैप में बना के दीजिए हाउ गेस कुछ भी फ्लैट शीट में बनाना है आपको हाँ जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्केल मतलब कैसे कंस्ट्रक्ट कैसे करूँगा मैं आप तो कोई तो बताओ हर्ष जी एनीबडी एल्स तो कैसे बनाओगे यार कोई तो बताओ एनीबडी दोज आर कवर्ड विद ओके बेसिकली यू ड्रॉ देम वॉट एवर द शेप ऑफ अर्थ इज देयर यू ड्रॉ लैटीट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड अ ग्रिड लाइक ए ग्राफ स्कूल वी स्टडीड हाउ टू मेक अ पिक्चर ऑन द ग्राफ करेक्ट It was taught x y x y coordinates were given, and you join them, and some picture, funny picture used to come. I am sure you must have learnt in school, correct? Eighth class me hota tha ek question standard. You join all those points, and it used to come up some shape kind of thing. So it is exactly this. You have coordinate system that is latitude and longitude. Okay, so I draw a grid, a network on a sheet of paper. Okay, I call it draft man sir, please make this chart, it can be created, simple. Okay, so, combined together maps and charts, we 
refer them as projection okay so this construction is like i said by just draw latitude longitude join all those points and you create a map and that's what we call it mathematically okay so it's very simple i take a sheet of paper i'll draw longitude latitude and all those coordinates you have you create a map you can create earlier they used to draw manually nowadays you have software let's say any country you have all those latitude or longitude or the boundary you put it in that draw what will happen you will have map ready okay somebody said satellite picture other day pranil pranil hai kahan gaya where is mr pranil you said not satellite picture yeah but that time there were no satellites since 15th century 16th century then what are you talking about how this construction is done now you can say i don't need vo or i don't need i let i have a gps but when that thing is there how it is created and how it is used okay so that is mathematical way this we refer it as when the chart or a map is constructed this way we refer it as non perspective construction or simply non perspective projection okay it's a the, the method by which it is designed that's what it is referred as non perspective any other, any other way i covered other day with baki anybody yes projection. yes projection what i do i take this globe okay make a glass globe everything is same on glass i draw latitude longitude all that graticules whatever you can see on the globe okay i draw it on the glass okay and then i put a light inside okay so when you switch on in the dark room what will happen the whole thing will be projected like a film projector okay this projector lcd L led all these projector they work on a different principle whereas actual projector is projecting something which you see in the movie halls okay if you remember earlier days used to have those negatives film you get the negative you could actually see through it now let's say if i put a light on one side of that negative you can actually get the whole image on the bigger screen so what actually you see on the silver screen what you call it that celluloid film that film is what okay it's all pictures which are clicked human eyes need minimum 16 frames per second means if anything is moving at 15 second you can actually uh, perceive as a motion minimum 16 the number is going as higher as it possible with the technology so the minimum is like per 16 even you must have seen on the paper those diary which come where if you flip them you see something is moving is it physically moving it is actual picture are you understanding just just to tell you that it is actually each frame or the is a it's a like a negative kind of thing wait i will show you now you can see that's how this a film roll is actually and that's why it's called projector movie projector not this projector if you see in the projector room in any movie theater you will find this actually it looks like a negative correct so each moment let's say my hand is moving what is happening it is captured into the negative and now it is being projected at the whatever the speed we want okay so can you see this so when you say 70 mm 70 mm is what 7 cm so what is that 17 that is a size of this frame okay 
Now in this, can you see this? That's how the role is. It is developed. And now they put it on the, wherever the projector is there. Now it is rotating. You see this? One side is rolled. It is going to the other side. They are rotating. Light is coming through. There is a area which you need to project or the film which you need to project. And that is being shown on the screen in a minute detail. That's what you see. So that's exactly something similar principle which we use to create projections. And that's why many times you'll find this old black and white Charlie Chaplin movie. The rotation rate was not that much. So that's why you see a little funny kind of thing. Okay. So can you see this? This is going from one end to other end. There's a bulb here and this whole thing is being projected. And you can get every detail what you want. Exactly same principle. We can use it to project the globe on the flat sheet. Okay. So what I do? I draw a glass globe. A light source at the center. Okay. Now I take it in a dark room and I project on a flat sheet depending upon whatever size I want. So I'm basically trying to get a projection. I'm understanding the simple logic. I've drawn a glass globe, reticules. Okay. And I'm trying to get a projection. And you get a this projection. When you use this method by light source and reticule, This is called perspective projections. Okay, easy way to remember is projection is perspective. Mathematic is non-perspective. Okay, have you understood? Like a long-term memory, if you want to put it somewhere in your mind. When you take a projection, it is perspective. You will have question in exam. We will see those questions also. We will address those questions. This projection is a perspective or this perspective. Those who are doing the test paper, you must have seen these questions. Whether it is a perspective or non-perspective. Logic is very simple. If it is a pure projection, it is perspective. You use mathematics anywhere, it becomes non-perspective. And these are the two methods. And that's how they are classified based on construction. One thing is very clear. Before we see any projection, when we go into the detail, the shape of earth is round, sphere, oblate, spheroid, whatever you want to call it, the shape is round. And the image or the projection which you are trying to get it is on the flat sheet. It will never be accurate. There will always be distortion. It cannot, it can never be right. Are you understanding? It is a round thing and you are trying to get it on a flat sheet. So obviously then we do some something to get, so that we can use, we can get as accurate as possible for our navigation. Clear on this? So please copy this. Okay, so what we will study is more of this, but I already told you there's a problem. And somewhere we have to come back to mathematics to resolve those problems because a round thing on flat sheet, not possible to get it. Okay, now, now based how we place the sheet, Now, based on placement of sheet, perspective projections are further classified in three categories. Okay. Cylindrical, conical, zenithal, or simply azimuthal. Okay. It sounds too fancy, but actually it is very simple. How you are placing sheet? Okay, in the sense. Well, I can place sheet like a cylinder. So it becomes cylindrical projection. Okay, if I place sheet like 
a cone happy birthday cap that kind of cone that becomes conical okay or the simplest is i put a sheet like this plain sheet anywhere i put a light source in the center and get a projection so now how you want to get the projection okay that's how and what what you want to actually see on the earth what you want to recreate in the form of chart or a map that's how you place the sheet okay so cylindrical conical and zenithal so we'll take a break here after the break see you and we will study about cylindrical projection